Hey, how's it going? Okay, I believe that I can show that Trevon decided to follow George and not the other way around. Trevon went to the 7-Eleven, which is very close to his house. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay, the 7-Eleven's right here. So, we knew that which direction he went, the quickest way, of course. There's a little cut-through area here, I believe, where the old road used to go. So, the walkers walked down this dirt road, too, and I'm sure he did that. So, he leaves the 7-Eleven, and he cuts back through here and back over to his neighborhood. Here we are back at the neighborhood. And we're trying to determine the quickest way to come into the neighborhood or how to you know, save time. The shortest distance to get back to, his, to the house. And you know, I know he doesn't know the neighborhood that well, but just common sense. Which way would you walk around a building if you were going a certain direction? The long way around or the short way around? So let's take a look. We'll start, we'll put the, his mark over here. We'll zoom in a little bit here. So he's here on the sidewalk, and, and I'm just assuming he's, he steps over and starts cutting across because he wants to get over here for some reason. But that's my opinion. So let's... Uh, Let's do this. Let's line him through here. Quickest way that he can get through. There. And then back here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him straight straight up here where George saw him. Right there in that yard. Now, if you just look at that on the map, let's zoom out a little bit so you can see the neighborhood where he's headed. Now, the house he's staying in is over here, this end. So, if I were to draw a straight line, it would look something like this to his house, right? But he couldn't have gone through there that way, so... We have to assume that he was planning something like this is what I would have done if I were him. Down here. Down here. Something like that. So about 1,457 feet. So we'll record that number, and we'll go ahead and delete this stuff. So we're back in the front yard. Where George said he saw Trevon. Let's say he was headed to... Uh, go this way towards the uh, clubhouse and he wasn't chasing after George he was just headed that direction why did he go this way well let's see okay he's walking and let's say right in that shadow alright that's 750 feet and look at the line. Does it look, does that look right to you? I mean, wouldn't you have gone this way? Obviously, it's going to be shorter. And I'm going to show you. So there was one of two reasons why Trevon was over here. Either he was going the shorter way, which I think, and decided to follow George, George once they met eyes. Or he planned on going into that house for whatever reason. So let's record that number, 750.
And now let's go back. All right, and make the shortest distance this way. Okay, here, here, here. 693, that's 57 feet less. Just common sense would have said this is the best way to go. So it's my contention Travon had one of two options. He was either going to go into this house or he was going the backside towards the lower end of the pond. Okay, now we want to remember that uh, 1457 was the, was the number, the distance around the south end of the pond to the house. So let's see how far it is this way. fifteen seventy eight quite a bit farther a longer distance around my opinion is Trevon knew that it was a longer distance that way and he always went around this way to the store much quicker and he wasn't so stupid as to think that coming down this way to go over here was a wise idea so this this video just shows that according to my opinion he chose to change his route once he saw George and that he followed George he went to where George parked he walked around his car talked to him through the window and then when George moved his car he followed him along sideways he's to the side of him so that George couldn't see him in the darkness that shows that he followed George both to the clubhouse and then to his second parking place without George knowing that he was coming there. Because remember, when George said he first saw him, it didn't look like he was heading in any particular direction. And as we can see here, it's pretty obvious that Trevon made a decision after he saw George to go towards the clubhouse rather than south of the, the pond. So good talking to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.